to have on the show Congressman Tom Tiffany. Congressman, it's good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Your reaction to Speaker McCarthy voted out of his speakership? Yes, so I voted to keep Speaker McCarthy. I thought we were making progress with the appropriations bills. Um, and I voted last week for the continuing resolution because it had border security in there and a debt commission. And especially border security, I think it's our number one issue at this point. And anything to advance that, I think, would, would help America. Who do you want for Speaker? Oh, uh, you know, we're going to have that discussion now. I mean, people are regrouping at this point, and I'm sure over the next couple of days there's going to be a lot of discussion about that. I want somebody that's going to advance the, you, you know, really the values and what we need to do for America. And that starts with let's do spending bills that reduce spending because we're seeing this inflation that you've been talking about on your show that is just ruinous for the American people. We've got to get our fiscal house in order in Washington, D.C., because it's harming our country. What's your reaction to Hunter Biden in court today pleading not guilty? Hunter's lawyer said these charges are, quote, the result of political pressure from President Trump and his MAGA allies. Uh, yeah. The DOJ officials are saying, no, he lied on a government form to buy a gun, saying he did not do drugs when he did. Yeah, he, for, he lied on his Form 1023. Liz, thank the Lord that we had that judge, what was that, a couple months ago in Delaware, who said that she threw the plea deal out. Hunter was going to get a sweetheart deal. And she said, no, I'm going to have none of it. Now he has to uh, appear before the law, just like an average American would. And hopefully, we won't see this dual system of justice that has been so prevalent with the Department of Justice and the FBI here in America the last few years. So we're hearing reports. Let's move on to this. We know the House is in chaos, but the House impeachment inquiry will move apace after things settle down. I mean, House oversight, are they really going to call in Biden, uh, former Biden insider and now whistleblower Tony Bobulinski? I mean, what's your reaction to that? Bobulinski said he met Joe Biden at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in 2017 to talk about the family's deal with China's CEFC energy conglomerate. You know, Bobulinski was the one talking about a stake of 10% Held for the big guy referring to Joe Biden. What is this true? Bob Alinsky is going to get going to get called in. Yeah, I don't know that, but I mean, think about it. We had Devin Archer in. What was that? Back in August, um, one of uh, Hunter's business partners. I think it would make sense to bring Tony Bob Alinsky in under oath and let's hear what he has to say because the walls really are closing in around the Biden family and in particular the president at this point. As more and more evidence stacks up, week after week, month after month. What bothers you the most about the allegations of Biden family corruption? Oh, it, it's it's the foreign influence peddling that's going on. You know, it's the 20 phone calls that he said he didn't have with his son. It's the 20 shell companies and other words, fake companies, and taking what we've documented over 20 million dollars from foreign interests, including our adversaries like Russia and China. And you look at the deals that China is cutting here in America. Did Joe Biden sell out the American people? That's the question that is at the heart of this matter. All right, Tom. So, Congressman, what would be your first question to any of these Biden insiders when they come uh, in front of you? Um, I want to know what influence they were under. Did they, uh, were they in the hands of foreign interests like what we saw with Ukraine? I mean, I go back to Burisma, um, Liz, and what Burisma did. Got it. Congressman Tom Tiffany, you're terrific. We hope to have you back on soon, sir. Thanks for joining us.